Hello and welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read um, guitar tabs for finger picking or finger style playing. And specifically, I'm trying to help you out how to break down a complicated looking finger style piece make it a lot easier to read. I'm going to assume that you're not a beginner a guitar player in this video and I'm not going to be explaining to you what tabs are from the very beginning. There's loads of other videos on YouTube that will help you um, if, you're very, if you're absolutely new to guitar tabs. I'm not going to be teaching any music theory if I can help it. Music theory is a whole different set of videos. So in this video I'm going to be helping you through the process of reading the finger style tabs actually deciphering them with exercises and examples to go along with them. One of the most difficult parts about reading tabs is knowing which finger to put where. Hopefully I can help you with that. We'll work on some easy chords and stuff, and stuff to start with and later on we'll be looking at the more advanced finger, finger picking finger style passages. At the end of these lessons you'll have, you should have a great idea on how to go about reading advanced finger style tabs. So part one that you're watching right here is going to be dealing with the easier part of the lesson. And part two of this video is going to be available on my second YouTube channel, Gareth Evans Extras. If you haven't checked that out, go and subscribe now. And in that part, I'm going to be showing you the more advanced part of the lesson. Also, there's going to be tabs exercise sheets to go along with these lessons, free to download from my website. Link for part two and the tabs in the description. So in this lesson, I'm going to assume you know what each line on the tab uh, sheet represents. Six lines, six strings on your guitar. You already know that the top line is the top E or the highest sounding string and the bottom line is the bottom E or the lowest sounding string. If you still have trouble remembering which string is which on the tabs, a um, little trick that I use, take your guitar and place it flat on your lap like that. And as you're looking down on your strings, you'll see um, this is the way that it's tabbed out. Okay, so the top line on the tabs is your top string as you're looking at here. Bottom line is the bottom string, the deepest string. Okay, also I assume that you know that tabs read from left to right and the numbers on the tabs just means where to put your fingers on each string. So this is the, f so number one would be first fret, number five, fifth fret, and a zero means that the string's played open. So let's get into the first part of the lesson then. Um, very firstly, we're gonna we're going to learn how to decipher chords in tabs, okay? This is a very basic uh, part of the lesson, so don't, don't get too worried if you know all this already, okay? So let's have a look at this example, okay? So this is a chord. We're going to take a look at each of the strings in order. This is the best way to do it, okay? So look at the first string, okay? You see the first string's open. The second string again open. The third string's fretted on the first fret. Okay, the fourth string is fretted on the second fret, fifth string, second fret, and the sixth string is open. Okay, if you recognize this as an E chord or an E major chord, well done. Knowing what an E chord is and where to put each fingers for an E chord should have been one of the very first guitar lessons that you ever had, so I'm going to assume that you got the fingers right for this. If you're struggling on this stage, then maybe you should stop the video here and then come back to this video at a later date when you've got a better grasp of basic guitar. I always tell people to go and watch some more beginner guitar lessons on YouTube before coming here. Uh, and actually learn how to play the guitar properly. Okay, just one more example before you move on. Let's see if you can decipher this chord in tabs. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay, this is a C chord or a C major chord and your fingers should all be in this position. Okay. If you need more exercises or examples of chords, download the tab sheet that I provided free, link in the top of the description. Okay, moving on, we're gonna look at some easy finger picking passages and try and figure out which chord positions we should be in while playing them. Let's start simple. This first is a picking passage taken from my recent lesson on Golden Leaves and Passenger over on my Extras channel. Here we need to figure out where to put our fingers for the duration of this whole bar, or in other words, which chord we make with our left hand while we're doing the picking. There is a trick to this, so let me explain how you do it. So to figure out what chord it is and where to put our fingers, we need to look down each string individually. First, uh, look at the first string. It's open the whole way. Second string next, it's played four times and each time it's in the first fret position. So write, that, write these down if you have to, it's probably easier to get used to it. 
Next, the third string, that's played twice and each time it's played open. The fourth string is played four times and each is played on the second fret. Lastly, the fifth string is played three times and that's played on the third fret. So if you've been writing all these down, then you should have something that looks like this and guess what? It's a lot easier than it first looked. It's actually just a C major chord that we looked at earlier. So once you've got your chord, reading the passage it becomes a lot easier. All you have to do is fret the C chord with your left hand and focus on the picking hand and look at which sequence um, you need to pick at. So in this particular passage we've got 1, 2 and 5, followed by 4, followed by 2 and 3, followed by 4. 1, 2 and 5 again, 4, 2, 3, 5 and then 4. Okay, so the process we used here was looking at each string individually across from left to right and writing down where the positions are in one line to give you the chord that you're looking for. Once you've got that, it becomes a lot easier. So let's take another quick example before moving on. This is from my recent lesson of the song Half Moon Run, or the, the song by the artists Half Moon Run. Um, the song's called Full Circle. So let's look at this. You should pause the video here and work through the passage like I've just explained in the previous example uh, before I'm gonna talk you through it. Okay, so we've got the first thing open. 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, 5th string open and that is an A minor chord. If you got it, well done. So once you've got your chord that you use, you can just focus on your right hand again. This passage goes 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 2, 5, 4. Okay, if you do need more exercises um, of this uh, difficulty, check out the tab sheet um, that's downloadable from my website. I'm not going to do many more because I need to move on now to the more um, advanced uh, deciphering of tabs and that's how to figure out which you know a chord progression or a difference where your fingers don't stay in the same place during a bar basically. I'm going to show you all that in part two which I, as I said is going to be available on my extras channel. You'll find a link for it on your screen now if your annotations are enabled otherwise a link in the description again. Don't forget to click the like button if you've enjoyed this video or if it helped at all and don't forget to subscribe as well um, and also to my extras channel there's a lot more guitar lessons over on my extras channel these days so that's it for now thanks for watching i'll see you again in the next one bye for now